Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this sunburst flower granny square. <music> My sunburst flower square is made with, I'm using the lovely paint box yarns again, this is definitely becoming one of my go-to yarns, and I'm using a simply chunky yarn. So this in uh, US would be a bulky yarn, so that's a yarn weight of five. And with this granny square, we are using a six millimeter J crochet hook. And it's also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. So that's one with a large eye at the end. Okay, so let's begin. So we're going to take the end of our yarn, our darker orange to begin. We're going to do a chain four loop. So we're going to chain four to begin. So let's do our little slip knot. Okay, and we're going to chain four. One, two, three and four so we're going to chain four then we're going to find our first chain and we're going to put our hook into our first chain just by our slip knot and we're going to bring the yarn through the first chain and straight through the loop on our hook to do a slip stitch and that creates a little four chain loop joined at the beginning and the end and in the middle of course is a hole don't confuse it with your first chain hole, which can look quite big, but with a chunky yarn, you're pretty safe seeing that hole. And into that hole, we're going to do eight single crochets. So this pattern's in US terminology, but in UK terminology, a single crochet is a double crochet. So we're gonna put our hook into that center of our four chain loop, bring the yarn through. I'm gonna do a single crochet. And we need, uh, we need eight of those, so that's one. And then back into the middle again, just wrapping it around the chains. Do our single crochet, two. Three. Four. Five. seven and the last one eight okay so eight single crochet into that 14 loop and if you worked into the center you should be able to just pull the tail end and bring that hole in okay so it works almost just like an adjustable ring okay then we are going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the rounds find your first single crochet going under both loops Bring the yarn through that stitch and straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. So by the end of the first round, you should have a stitch count of eight single crochet. Okay, so moving on to round two, what we're going to do now is we're going to create some popcorn stitches. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna chain three to begin. So chain one, two, and and three, chain three. Then we're going to do three double crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So in UK terminology, that would be a treble. So we're gonna yarn over, go into that same stitch just slip stitched into and do three double crochets. So pull through two, pull through two. So that's one. Back into the same stitch again, another one, two. And one more in the same stitch. Three. So we've got three double crochets in that very first stitch. Then we're going to bring up a loop and we're going to turn these into a popcorn stitch. And to do that, we need to put our hook into our third chain of our three. So you can either count up or you can count over one, two, three of your double crochets. The next one's going to be your chain. Let's so put your hook into that third chain that you made as neatly as you can. Then you're going to put your hook through the loop that you left and just bring that down. Then we're going to pull that loop through our third chain. So bring that through your third chain. Okay, and that puffs out all those stitches into a little popcorn stitch. Then to finish, we're going to chain three, one, 
two, three, chain three, and we're going to slip stitch in the same stitch as all these stitches again. So go back into that same one again, slip stitch into there. And that completes our little three double crochet popcorn variation sunburst petal thing. <laughs> we're going to do one of these into each stitch around until we get eight of these. But the first thing to do is slip stitch over to the next stitch. So slip stitch over to the next stitch. And then we're going to make our second one. So again, we chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over and do three double crochet in the same stitch. So one, another one, two, another one, three. Then once you've done the third double crochet, just bring up a little loop, take your hook out and put it into the third chain. So one, two, three are your double crochets and the next one's going to be your chain. Hook into that third chain. Then put it through the loop you left and bring that down. Then pull that through your third chain. Okay, so that puffs them all out. Then chain three. One, two, Three, and slip stitch into the same stitch down here and then slip stitch over to your next stitch slip stitch into the next one and repeat the process so we're going to repeat this all the way around back to the beginning until you get eight of these popcorn stitches variations my variations okay so just repeat that around so you've got eight of these so you chain three Three double crochet in the same stitch as your last slip stitch. One, two, three, and you bring up a little loop, put your hook into the your third chain, and then into the loop that you left. Just bring that down and pull that through your third chain. Chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into the same stitch as all of those to finish. And then slip stitch over to your next stitch. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to repeat that all the way around until I've got eight of these. And then I should come back. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the last one. I'm just doing the last one now. Put my hook into that third chain and into my loop. Bring that through the loop for chain, chain three, two, three, and then slip stitch the same stitch down here. Okay, so by the end of the second round, you should have eight of these petals one two three four five six seven eight okay you should have one worked into each stitch what we're going to do now is we're going to slip stitch into the three chain space um, on the first so find your first popcorn stitch and you've got three chains this side and you've got three chains this side the one on the left are much easier to see and that's the one you want to slip in slip stitch into so put your hook into the large gap under that three chain space just after your first popcorn stitch. We're going to slip stitch into there, but we're not going to slip stitch with the orange. We're going to join our next colour. So we're going to get our middle orangey colour, which was our mandarin orange, and we're going to put that over our hook. Just hold that tail end of my finger and bring that through the three chain space and straight for the loop on your hook. Okay. And then pull your tail ends nice and tight. And now we're working with our next orange colour. And we're going to create more of these popcorn stitches. We're going to do two in each of these three chain spaces. So start off with the same thing again. Chain three. One, two, three. Keep pulling those tail ends. So it's nice and tight. Then three double crochet in that three chain space as well. So the three chain space you just slip stitched into. Go back into there and do three double crochet 
one, two, three. So it's just the same thing, but this time we're just working it into the three chain space. Then bring up a loop, put your hook into that fourth, uh, third chain that you did at the beginning. Then into the loop you left, bring that down, bring that through the chain. Chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into your three chain space as well. So it's the same as what you did on the second round. We're just working it into the three chain space. But we're going to do two in each though. So there's our first one. Move it over. We're going to create another one in that three chain space as well. So straight away after your slip stitch, do th chain three. One, two, three. Get the bit of straw out of the way. Three double crochet. One. three bring up a loop put your hook into your third chain that is my third chain isn't it one two three and into the loop you left bring that through the third chain chain three one, two, three, and slip stitch into the same three chain space. Okay, so there's our second one. So it's all worked into that three chain space that you make after your popcorn stitch. Remember we do the three chain, then we slip stitch to that three chain space. We're gonna work two of these popcorn stitches into each of those three chain spaces, but only the one on the left, so we're not doing it on the right. So what we're gonna do now is we find our next dark orange popcorn stitch. Find the three chain space to the left of it and slip stitch into there. Okay, pull that nice and tight and do the same thing again. We're going to do two of our popcorn stitches variations in there as well. So chain three, three double crochet in the three chain space. to the third chain and into the loop bring that through chain three so this is the three chain space that you're working into and then slip stitch into the three chain space so there's our first one so there's our first one in there we'll do another one so we chain three straight away don't need to slip stitch over anything. Three double crochet. And three same three chain space. One. Two. Three. Bring up a loop. You got the gist of this now. Chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch into the same three chain space. Okay. So there's our second one in there. So now we've got two in that next one. Okay, so we've got two in there and two in there. Now we need to do two in the next one. So find your next dark orange popcorn stitch. Find the three chain space to the left of it here, just put it open and slip stitch into there. Pull that nice and tight and repeat the same process doing two more popcorn stitch variations into this next popcorn stitch on the three chain space. And do that all the way around until you have doubled up and you've got 16 of these 
lighter orange ones. So you should have two in each. You end up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You should have sixteen popcorn stitches. Okay, so I shall do that and I'll come back and show you how to turn it into a square. So it's just chain three, three double crochet. Okay, all into these three chain spaces. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the very, doing the very last one. Just chain three and slip stitching. My last three chain space. You should have 16 of these popcorn stitches. So when you lay it flat, you should have 16 now. So doubled up. And once you've done that, what we're going to do is is we're going to find look, find our first mid orange coloured popcorn stitch and find the three chain space to the left of that and we're going to slip stitch into there but we're not going to yarn over with our mid orange colour we're going to get our last colour which is going to be our is it banana cream banana cream shade we're going to put that over our hook and we're going to bring that through and slip stitch with that let's bring that through the three chain space and through the loop on your hook and now we're working with our banana cream yellowy orangey colour. Pull all your tail ends nice and tight. Okay, you can actually cut these other colours now, finish with those. So. We can move those out of the way. And now we're working with our last colour, we're going to turn this into a square. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, what are we going to do? Going to chain two to begin. So chain two, one and two. We're going to do one half double crochet. So in UK terminology, that's a half treble in the same three chain space. So yarn over, go into the same three chain space you just slip stitched into and do a half double crochet. So we pull through all three. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet and two double crochets in the next three chain space. So now move over to your next three chain space. So find your next popcorn stitch in the three chain space there. We're going to do a half double crochet to begin in there. Half double crochet. And we're going to do two double crochets. So in UK terminology, that's a treble. Two double crochets. One and two. Okay. Then we're going to move on to the next three chain space. So find your next popcorn stitch, three chain space. And in there we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do two double crochet to begin. Two double crochet. And a half double crochet in the same three chain space, half double crochet for all three in there. Then we're going to move on to the next one, to the next three, find the next popcorn stitch, next three chain space, and in there we're going to do two half double crochets. So next three chain space, just two half double crochets, one and two. And then we just repeat this pattern all the way around. Those first two chains we're going to count as a half a double crochet. So find your next popcorn stitch and do two in the three chain space and do two half double crochets. One and two. Two half double crochets in there. Then the next three chain space on the next popcorn stitch we do a half double crochet and two double crochets. Two, two double crochets. Okay, so they're just going into the three chain space to the left of the popcorn stitch. Okay. And then in the next popcorn stitch three chain space on the left, we do the opposite, we do two double crochets. Always make sure your little popcorn stitch sits forward. And a half double crochet. Half double crochet. And the next one, we do two half double crochets. And 
Then the next one, two half double crochets. One and two. So two half double crochets in there as well. Then the next one, it's a half double crochet and two double crochets. So a half double crochet and two double crochets. Get my tail caught up. One and two. And then the next one, we do the reverse. It's two double crochet, then a half double crochet. And the half double crochet. Okay. And then, where are we? Next one, it's two half double crochets in the next three chain space on the left of the popcorn switch. Two half double crochets, one, two. Same again in the next one, two half double crochets. Then next one, half double crochet to begin and two double crochets. Then do that backwards in the next one, two double crochets to begin. And then a half double crochet. Full three. Then we're back to the beginning yet. Yes, we're back to the beginning. So in the next one, which is the last one, it's two half double crochets. This will be the last one. One and two. Then we're going to slip stitch into our second chain at the beginnings. So these first two here are counting as two half double crochets. So slip stitch into that second chain. join the round. Okay, you can see the beginnings of a square appearing now. These bigger stitches on the corner make your square shape. So now let's move on to the last and final round. Okay, so for the final round we're going to slip stitch over to this space here. So we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch to begin. If I can. <laughs> Come on. Okay, slip stitch in the next stitch. Then we're going to slip stitch into the gap. So not the next stitch, but the gap underneath. So this gap here, we're going to slip stitch into there. We're going to start working into these gaps in between our main stitches. And we're going to start off with chaining three. Let's so chain one, two, three. And we're going to do one double crochet. So in UK terminology, that's a treble. One double crochet in the same gap underneath. So do a double crochet in there. Okay, then we're going to chain one. Chain one. We're going to move over to the next space. So skip these three stitches here and find the next gap here. And in there, on the corner, we're going to do three double crochet to begin. So this gap here. Three double crochet. One. Two. Three, so three double crochet. We're going to chain one, and we're going to do another three double crochet in the same gap. So go back in there again after your chain one and do three double crochet. One, two, and three. And this is like the corner turning the corner. If you imagine it, sort of creating a ninety degree angle. Then we're going to chain one. And find the next gap. So skip the next three stitches and find the next gap. And in there we're going to do three double crochet. Don't forget to chain one in between your sets. Chain three, uh, chain three, three double crochet even. Okay, three double crochet in there. And then we're going to chain one, but on this edge we need to skip 
the next space. So the next obvious space here, after these two stitches, we're going to skip that, skip these two stitches and find the next gap. So there was the last one gap we worked into. We're going to skip this gap, find the next gap. And in there we're going to do three double crochet. One, two, three. And I always forget to do that. And I end up working into that one and getting confused. But make sure you skip that one. It's going to be on the edge. So these groups here are the corners. Then we're going to create our next corner. So we're going to chain one and then find the next gap, which you can see these bigger, the group of three stitches is where your gap, uh, your corner is going to be. So in this gap, we do three double crochet. One, two, three. Then chain one, and then another three double crochet in the same gap. One, two, three. Okay, and that creates our next corner. Then we're going to chain one and work into the next gap. So skip these three stitches and work into the next gap. Three double crochet. So we're just doing double crochets, groups of three double crochets on this round. Two, three. So on the popcorn stitch with there, three double crochets. <laughs> so three double crochets in there, then chain one, and we're going to skip the next gap because it's on the edge. Okay, so skip these two stitches, next gap, skip these two stitches and find the next gap. And in this next one we do the three double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to come up to our next corner and you should know you're at the next corner because you've got three stitches instead of these two. So we chain one, in the next gap we do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Three double crochet, chain one, move them over and another three double crochet. Okay, and that's our next corner. Then chain one, next gap, three double crochet. Don't forget to chain one in between your sets. One, two, three. Okay, and then chain one. This is where we skip because it's on the edge. So chain one, skip these two, skip the next gap, skip these two, find the next gap. Three double crochet in there. two, three, and then we're at our next corner and we know that because we've got these three stitches. So chain one, next gap, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So what I'm doing here is double crochets, chain one, move them over, same gap, three double crochet. Three. Okay, and that creates our next corner. So we're now we're on the home run, so we're going to chain one, next gap, three double crochet, one, two, three, then same as all the other edges, we're going to chain one, skip these two, skip the next gap skip these two which is actually near the beginning and then find this gap where you've got your first double crochet and these chains and we're going to yarn over and we're just going to go into there and we're just going to do one double crochet which finishes our set of three at the beginning okay so you do those three double crochet there chain one skip the next gap find the next gap where these two are already in and do one last double crochet then we're going to slip stitch into the top of our three chain And that's the end of our sunburst, my sunburst, Granny Square design. So just 
trim the yarn down, pull that through, and then you can tie in your tail ends if you want to. Grab a needle. And to make sure, um, if you're going to be joining these, it makes it easier to see the stitches. When you yarn, when you sew through to the back, sew through the same stitch you slip stitched into, and that helps keep your stitch count the same. And then just turn over and then sew in one direction and then back in the opposite direction. through the stitch. Keep those stitches clean and then you can just trim down any excess. Okay so I'm sure some of you are asking if you want to join these granny squares. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube anyway. I have got a couple of um, tutorials on how I join so just check those. Do a search on my channel. There's a couple of uh, how to join granny squares tutorials and uh, there we go. So that's the end of our sunburst, my sunburst granny square design. And what we can do now is we can put these with all the other ones. So let's made quite a few of these. I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to be do, making them into. Um, I want to make a little blanket, but I'm not sure how much yarn I've got to make them. But I've got quite a few now, actually. I think I've got ten. So I can make a really nice bath mat. And there we go. That. So I can zoom out and see all my granny squares. <laughs> so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you managed to follow along. Hope you'll go check out the paint box yarns. Uh, they're exclusively available on Love Knitting and lovecrochet.com. Uh, quite inexpensive, really nice yarns to wear with. I like them. Uh, I think they're one of my go-to yarns now, like Stylecraft and what's the other one I like? King Cole, Big Valley Chunky. That's another one of my favorites as well. Um, but I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Do join me on Instagram where I share lots of things I'm working on and little mini patterns and sneak previews and all sorts of things. That's just Happy Berry Crochet on Instagram. So I'll put a link in the description. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.